Hi everyone, this is Richard. This is a quick video going over stream pipe. So stream pipe is like stream sync. They're both part of the stream consumer, but it's a matter of perspective. So remember, we got a stream controller. If we have a stream controller and we want to add a stream into the stream controller, it would be a sync because you're the stream controller. You're adding stuff into your sync, right? But if you have a stream and you want to put it somewhere, you would pipe it to the stream controller. All right, so it's a matter of perspective, depending upon where your object actually is. Are you at the sync or are you at the stream? All right, and that's the difference. That's the only difference, which is a big difference, of course. So let's look at our code. We have the same thing, stream controller sc, stream um, dot listen dot print, okay? Then we're gonna get, we don't need the stream subscription, okay? And we're gonna say, you click on a1, we could have done sc.sync.addStream, right? It's the abstraction. You add the stream, dump it into the sync of the stream controller. Or we could go to the stream itself and pipe it into the stream controller. Either one would work, right? So you do this, run it. And you hit add and it adds all together. And the same thing, this will do the exact same thing. So two different ways of doing the exact same thing, but it depends upon where you are in your code and why you need to do one versus the other. All right, so keep that in mind. Same idea, which we'll run into several different times when, we, when it comes to streams, but pipe and sync fall into the same category, but they are a little different in how you they do the same function, they do the same effect, but they are different just with respect to what your original object is. Okay, thanks.